Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Praxis Mathematics Test 5165? These practice questions cover the subtopic of statistics and expressions. Let's review some of the types of questions you may encounter on the exam. Let's get right in. Problem number one. What is the estimated population mean score of the class in this assessment? Mean or average? To find this, you add all the numbers and then divide by the total number in the set. So let's find the number in the set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we know there are 10 numbers in the set. Now we add the numbers up. 30 plus 25 is 55, plus 19 is 74, plus 28 is 102, 22, 124, 27, 151, 16, 167, 26, 193, 18, 211, and 23 is 234. So that is our total. 234, then we divide it by the total in the set, which is 10, which means we just move the decimal point. So the answer is 23.4. Problem number two. The correlation between the plant height and the number of animals in the neighborhood area shows a correlation of 0.15. Which of the following is the more suitable interpretation? Let's look at the figure 0.15. This demonstrates a very weak correlation. So let's keep that in mind as we review the answers. Let's start from bottom to top. The more animals in the neighborhood, the shorter the plants. Given the weak correlation, this would not be the correct answer. Plant height has a strong correlation with the number of animals in the neighborhood. Again, dealing with a weak correlation, this cannot be the answer either. The height of the plant increases by 0.15 centimeters per day per animal in the neighborhood. Our question deals nothing with the plant height growth and the 0.15 figure is not centimeters, it's correlation. So this is not the answer. Finally, plant height has almost no association with the number of animals in its neighborhood area. Given the weak correlation, this is indeed the correct answer. Problem number three, calculate the probability of selecting two aces from a deck of 52 cards when the first card is placed back. Our answer options are one over 169, one over 221, one over 196, or one over 121. The first time we choose a card from a standard deck of 52 cards, the probability of choosing an ace is 4 over 52, as there are four aces in the deck of cards. In the question, it tells us that the first selection is placed back in the deck. So the probability of choosing one ace is again 4 out of 52. However, the probability of choosing two aces in two consecutive selections decreases per selection. So we multiply 4 over 52 times 4 over 52 to get this new probability. 4 over 52 times 4 over 52. This is equal to 16 over 2704. When we simplify it, it is 1 over 169. So this is our answer. Problem number four. Given the following data set of six paired values for x, y, 
calculate the linear correlation coefficient r for this data set. To find the linear correlation coefficient r, we use the following formula for r. The easiest method to use this formula is to tabulate our data as follows. We take each of the given data points and add them to the table. So x, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. Y, 20, 18, 17, 15, 11, and 7. Now x squared. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, 7 squared is 49, 9 squared is 81, 11 squared is 121, and 13 squared is 169. Now on to y squared. 20 squared is 400. 18 squared is 324. 17 squared is 289. 15 squared is 225. 11 squared is 121. And 7 squared is 49. Now x times y. 3 times 20 is 60. 5 times 18 is 90. 7 times 17 is 119. 9 times 15 is 135. 11 times 11 is 121. And 13 times 7 is 91. Now we add up each of the columns as follows. So the X column, 48. The Y column, 88. X squared, 454 y squared, 1,408, xy, 616. Now we can plug these values into the formula from the table where n is the number of data points and we use the summation of each column as follows. So we're plugging the values into the formula. So R equals 3,696 minus 4,224 over the square root of 2,724 minus 2,304 times 8,448 minus 7,744. Now we have negative 528 over the square root of 420 times 704. And that is equal to negative 528 over the square root of 295,680. negative 528 over 543.76, which is equal to negative 0 0.97. And there you have it. I hope I was able to answer your questions so that you now have a better understanding of the topics you can expect to find on the test. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.